What's up guys? Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk left chest logos. Now, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm a dummy. But I used to have the worst problem lining up left chest logos. I just had a terrible time. And I know that people make all kinds of gadgetry and laser beams and plastic things that they're trying to sell you to line up those laser beams. Well, after I've done about 9,000 left chest logos now, I have a pretty good system and it's pretty easy. So I'm going to show you right now. Boom. I'm going to do, try to do this from a couple different angles. So that you guys can see. So the very first thing I like to do is get the shirt on a flat surface, not the heat press. So even if you're doing hoodies or I don't typically pre-press 50-50 t-shirts. Um, if this was a 100% cotton t-shirt and I needed to pre-press it, I would probably, uh, well, to be honest with you, I would do it on the heat press because I've done enough of them. And after you do this for a while, you'll figure it out too. I'm going to be using heat transfer material today so this is actually sticky when I pull this backing off it's already sticky but you're going to say Tony what if I'm doing sublimation or what if I'm doing plastisol transfers how am I going to get it from here to the heat press without it falling off after I get it on well here's your answer to that I use this spray uh, for tons of things especially sublimating stuff it's called basting spray I get this at Walmart like where the quilting stuff is it has a it's a Temporary adhesive, it'll hold on, and the heat from the heat press just about takes all the sticky away. But the trick to this is, is that the middle of your logo is going to go on this line. That left, that right collar line. That is going to be the middle of your logo. Okay. So once you know where the middle of that is, it's pretty easy to figure out where this goes. Now, I can tell you this. When I first started trying to figure this out, something on the internet said the bottom of the sleeve. Well, that may work on a small shirt. The larger the shirt gets, the more you are going to come toward the bottom, and the smaller the shirt gets, you're going to come to the top. But you can really eyeball, once you have a shirt laid out on a table like this, now all I'm really concerned with is that I want to see the sleeve and the collar, and I want the shirt to be square with me. I want the shirt to be square with me, I want to see the collar and the sleeve. Now I can see this point is the middle of my logo. When I lay this down, I know exactly, I can tell where it should go. This looks too low, you know, that looks too high, just about there. It's not an exact science. Um, and I mean, I have literally done hundreds of shirts like this. Uh, and yeah, well, if you took a measuring tape and measured each one, would they be 100%? Probably not. But I'm willing to bet you they'd be pretty close. So that's my middle line, and then I've got it in the air so I can kind of see where I think it should go. Middle line, about there, boom. Now if I don't like it, I can move it, but I'm going to say that's good. So here's my shirt. How does that look? Here, I'm going to make sure the shirt is square to me. There's my seam line, there's my sleeve, here's my transfer. All right, middle, lined up there. I'm gonna say that's it. So that's it for left chest placement, guys. I hope um, hope you got something out of this. Hope you learned something. Um, I guess like and subscribe. That's what I watched about four million YouTube videos in my life, and everybody always says that. So, <clears throat> anyways. Um, See you guys next time. Later.